Hey everyone, it's a good Monday morning and I'm glad to be here with you. So without wasting any more to do, today I'm going to be starting you off with the grammar. So today we'll be looking at uh, parts of speech, okay? So that might sound uh, big or complicated to you, but think it's something that uh, we need to take a look at so I'm going to go through it quickly then I'm going to take you over to the workboard section where we have to concentrate on what we've been dealing with since last week which uh, is our pronouns okay our subject pronoun our object pronoun and then our verb be when we use am is and are okay so without wasting any more to do let me quickly take you over so we can glance at what i've got to show you so here we are say what kind of word read this paragraph and then say which word class each underlined word belongs to to help you decide, you can look back at the example in B. Okay, I'm going to read. These might not be very important, but for the sake of this uh, subject, I'm going to read. I uh, have to read them to you. So listen, look at what we call a paragraph from here to here. This is a paragraph. Okay. And you can see here we have Andrew, which is the beginning of a sentence. A sentence starts with a capital letter and ends with a full stop. You see the full stop here, what we call period. So you see another sentence started from here. We have Richard, capital L, R, told him they were there. You see we've got comma, but he wanted to finish his work, full stop. So when you see a comma like this, you take a pause, take a breath, then you move on until you get to the full stop, that's the end of the sentence. And you see each time a sentence is started, we're using the first letter is always capitalized. We use the capital letter to start a new sentence. And you see it ends here, the full stop. Another one starts from here, he say he stays in his room. And it ends here, the full stop. Now that one starts from here, he is with a capital letter. Then a comma to take a breath. And it ends here with a full stop. So if you haven't learned anything from me taking you to this section, let it be you've learned that a sentence starts with a capital letter and ends with what? A full stop, as you can see here. Okay? So let me read the paragraph. Andrew didn't go to the cafe with the other students. Rachel told him they were going there, but he wanted to finish his work. Andrew isn't very sociable. He stays in his room and concentrates totally on his studies. He is an excellent student, but he doesn't have much fun. Okay, so as you can see, I just want to explain these few things here. Andrew is the subject here. And if I don't want to use Andrew, the preposition for Andrew is going to be what? He didn't go to the cafe. See, cafe is a noun. See, go is our verb with the other students. See, other students with S. That means it's not one student. There are many. So other students is our also a noun. Or this is what we call the object in the sentence. So if I don't want to say Andrew didn't go to the cafe with the other students, I will say because other students, many students, I will say Andrew didn't go to the cafe with them. Did you see? Because this is the object of the sentence. 
we are not going to use uh, they. We are supposed to use what them. And you see, it comes at the end of the sentence. So here, another new sentence. Rachel, uh, Rachel told him they were going there. You see, they don't want to repeat where is there. There means cafe. But they don't want to repeat it again. That's why they use what there. But he wanted to finish his work. Andrew isn't very sociable. See? Rachel is also a she, which is the subject. If I don't want to use Rachel, I'm going to use what? She. She told him they were going. They wouldn't say he told he. Rachel told him they were were going there. So Rachel is what she told who? Him. Him is Andrew. They were going there is what? Cafe. And he wanted, who is he? Andrew. He wanted to finish his work. Andrew isn't very sociable. See here. Our cafe is the noun here. There, here is also a noun. Sociable is an adjective telling us about Andrew, Andrew's personality. He stays in his room. He, now they're still using he, which is the pronoun, instead of using Andrew, Andrew, Andrew all the time. So that's why we usually use the pronoun. That's why you have to learn when or how they are being used. In a sentence. So he says he stays in his room and concentrates totally on his studies. See, totally is an adverb qualifying uh, the whole of the sentence. So this might not be for you, but for other students, he is an excellent student, but he doesn't have much fun. Excellent here is an adjective telling us more about the noun student which is uh, telling us about the noun. Excellent means, I mean, uh, adjective may we use adjective to qualify a noun, I mean, uh, to modify a noun, or to change the meaning of the noun slightly. When you say excellent, then you know the person is not like uh, a dull student or a lazy student. Tells more about the noun, okay? So here, they gave us some things here. This one is preposition two. You remember our preposition, cafe is a noun, the is an article. You remember we did uh, a and an apple, a pencil, the ocean. This one is an article, this one is article. So here we've got the told is a verb, there is a pronoun, there is a noun, he is a pronoun. Finish is a verb, sociable is a, an adjective, in is a preposition, and is a conjunction, totally is an adverb, and is an article, excellent is an adjective, but is a conjunction, fun is a noun. Okay? I think that's going to be all about it for this one. Here, yeah, I brought you back to our student book. It said, uh, let's learn more. Practice the words. See here we've got little, then we've got big. These are what we call adjectives. They help us to talk more about a noun. So you can see this is a box. And this is telling us it is a little box, it is a big box. So telling us, giving us more information about the the noun. So a new, a new car. A new gift, this one is old. New is an adjective telling us about a noun, telling us more or giving us more information about a noun. So here you've got long, you've got short. So all these we call what? Adjectives, they help us to tell us more or give more meaning to our noun. See this one round, 
They say the long hair, the short hair. John is round, John is square. We all call them what? Adjectives. It's little. It is little. Okay, here again, is it a long pencil? Is it a new doll? You can say, is it a pencil? But see here they're telling us, is it a long pencil? This long is helping us to talk more about the pencil so that you know that the pencil is not just any pencil but a long one. Is it a new doll? You can say, is it a doll? But this new is telling us more about the doll. Okay? Yes, it is. No, it's, it, it isn't. It is an old doll. You can say, it is an old doll. It is a doll. You see, an old doll is telling us more about the doll. Is it a round yo-yo? Yes, it is. Is it a new doll? No, it isn't. It is an old doll. So here, like, what I took you over to the other section where I was showing you. So I just want to bring you here so you see that everything that we are being taught, everything is contained in your books. And you can see from your student book, and we've done this already. But you might just look at it and overlook it. But now I'm trying to break it down to show you how you know they appear in all the sentences that we make. So when you see, is it a round yo-yo? This round here is the adjective telling us more about the yo-yo, which is the name of a thing, which is a noun. Don't forget, in a noun, we have the singular and the plural. The singular when it is one, and the plural when it is more than one. One more thing. Today we'll be looking at... Uh, this is a grade one pronoun worksheet. So we've got here, don't forget pronouns can replace nouns. So that's why you've got nouns in the name of pronouns. They can replace what nouns, and these nouns are what? Name of somebody, name of a place, and all what we call names. So here match the underlying words with the pronoun. See, give Louis an I. Louis is somebody's name and I. So when it is somebody and I, if I don't want to use that, I will use what? We. Okay? No, but this one is the uh, object pronoun because you see, it comes at the end of the sentence. So the object pronoun for we is what? Us. So this gave Louis and I. That means gave us. He gave us a gift. See, us supposed to be gave Louis and I because uh, if I'm not using Louis and I in the subject, I'm going to say what? We. And the object pronoun for we is what? Us. So that's why we've got here us. Talk to Lucy. Lucy is a girl. So here you see it comes at the end of the sentence. So the she now becomes what? Her. So Lucy now becomes what? Her. Instead of she. Because this is object pronoun. They are coming at the end of the that's why you see at the end of the sentence almost always. So number three says uh, presented to John. And you see John is a man. So what are you going to use for John is he in the subject pronoun. But in this case, it comes at the end of the sentence. So it's going to be what? Him. Okay, so you see, come down, you see there is him here. So that will be for John. This other one again, we've got feed the cat. And if I'm not using the cat, I will say what? It, because it is an animal. So we'll use it for an animal. So here, we've got it. And it in the subject is also it in the, in the subject pronoun, is also it in the object pronoun. So here, reads to the kids. And you see here, the kids with S. That means many. In the subject pronoun, the kids will be what? They. But this is object. So it have to be what? Them. So that you can see, we've got them here. And here again, we've got showed. Showed you and your friend. You and your friend. Don't forget. Many students 
uh, have always gotten this particular you uh, wrong. And I know the reason why, because you comes in two different places. We have the you, which is singular. I say, I'm talking to you. I mean you, Tema. That means one person. If I say, I'm talking to you, that all the students. That means plural. So here, showed you and your friend. That means you plus your friend. Supposed to be what? Uh, you also is what is going to be what? You. Because our you in the subject pronoun is also you in the object pronoun. So to become showed you. This was supposed to be what? You. So finished your homework. Your homework. Here we're talking about your homework. So it's supposed to be what? It. Because your homework is something. So if I'm not saying your homework, I'm going to use what? It. And it in the subject and also it in the object. So supposed to the answer for this one is supposed to be it and this it smile at the girl the girl here is just one girl and you know that should be what her you cannot say smile at she but smile at her because it comes at the end of the sentence so place the ball the ball here is the name of a thing if i don't want to say the ball i'm going to use what it and in this case again it in the subject is also it in the object. I think this is going to be all about it for today. So I'm going to send this exercise for you to try to test your knowledge on this subject. So that's going to be all about it for today. And thanks for watching. It's always my pleasure to have you here. And I'm going to talk to you on the rebound. Bye for now. And stay safe.